Basketball fans, welcome back. The Nairobi City Thunder matched up against the Ulizi Warriors. And the Nairobi City Thunder uh, continued to extend their winning streak. And the funny thing about yesterday's game was everything that the Nairobi City Thunder have done is to make sure they're able to cement themselves as a legit contender for the KBF title. As the regular season just comes to a close, as we just head over midway into the second leg, we are seeing the teams that are legit contenders be at the top, and you're seeing uh, the so-called challengers like the Lindsay Warriors uh, just become uh, much more irrelevant than they were even previously. So after the game... I left some comments on my social media and I just said the low basketball IQ of the Lindsay Warriors was the reason as to why they lost the game because their game started off very pretty respectable in the first and second in the first half in the first and second quarter but everything just seemed to implode for the Lindsay Warriors as their minimalistic approach to both offense and defense was the reason as to why they lost this game and they lost this matchup and this is something I have stressed Hustle players don't win games because if you have so many effort players and people who do not understand how to uh, read basketball plays and understand how to craft plays for themselves and also others, you're going to get the result that we saw in the Lindsay Warriors versus the Nairobi City Thunder. So the Nairobi City Thunder have the best players in, in KBF. They assembled a group of players that play together and they they know what they need to do especially when it comes to winning basketball games we've seen them take apart the Lindsay warriors in last year's matchup and last year's game was so uncompetitive and this was just coming from they were, they were playing that they was coming from winning the game against kpa last year so last year they, they matched up against kpa in makande then the Nairobi City Thunder won that matchup. So the Nairobi City Thunder won that matchup against the against the KPA Dockers in Makande. Then two days later, they matched up against the Ulinzi Warriors. And it was not even a close matchup. And that's the game that they got schooled. And just to close out the first leg, you could see the Nairobi City Thunder, they won every single game in that first leg. And not only that, they they beat convincingly the top three teams in the in the men's division so that one showed you that this is a team that is not going to go down easily then in this second leg they have just repeated the same thing about about two weeks ago they beat the equity dumas in a very close game that's the game that was very close and then rbc thunder almost lost that game that game was decided by three points and we covered in the previous video then in this matchup, you could see the Nairobi City Thunder came out swinging again. And they beat the Ulinzi Warriors convincingly. And I can say that game was won at the second half. And at the, and at the fourth quarter, it was just a no contest. And the game was decided by 20 points. So this shows you that there's no team in KBF in the men's division that can be able to take apart the Nairobi City Thunder. I know people are waiting to see that that KPA versus uh, Nairobi City Thunder matchup, but honestly, it won't be different because that roster that competed last time in in last year, last year in the Makane Gymnasium was different, and this one was different as well. It's different as well because the KPA Dockers are the last hope. A lot, a lot, a lot of people are waiting to see the Nairobi City Thunder consider game, but by the looks of things. It was either the Ulinzi Warriors or the KPA Dockers that were supposed to do that. Now that the Ulinzi Warriors have failed in, in, in making them take their first loss, all eyes are going to go to the KPA Dockers matchup in Nairobi to see what the KPA Dockers can do. But in a, in a recent video that I made about two weeks ago, I just said the KPA Dockers are far removed from the team that won back-to-back titles, especially after losing Eugene, which was a very, very huge, huge a blow to the team especially on offense and they just look like a run of the mill regular team so that matchup i know is going to be very hyped a lot of people are just going to wait on that one as today as we speak at the, as part recording on this video we're going to see the equity dumas versus the kpa dockers um matchup today for the men's division tonight and we're going to have also the women matching up against the ztex sparks so 
those are two matchups that I'm going to watch closely and I'm going to make videos on that one. But moving on to the KPA Dockers. The KPA Dockers team, we're just going to have to wait and see what they produce today because if they lose today, it's just going to knock them off on the standings and they're not going to look like the favorites because in about two weekends ago, they lost back to back. They lost against the USA Tigers and they lost against the Ulinzi Warriors, a team the Ulinzi Warriors, a team that the NBC Thunder made quick work of. And now all eyes are just on the NBC Thunder as one of the elite team in Kenyan basketball. This is a team that has not lost a step. They have not missed any step. They know what they're supposed to do. They assemble a team early. They know how to play good basketball under coach Brad Ibs. This has been the most successful run for the Nairobi City Thunders franchise. I know this roster is way different from what we have been seeing from the Nairobi City Thunder in the past years, but this season is special because they have done the unthinkable. This is a season that they're going to make history and they're going to go unbeaten. And even in a previous video I made, I said the true test for the Nairobi City Thunder is to see what are they going to do in road to ball because that is the main goal i don't think the main goal is to win the kbf title the kbf title is just a stepping stone a ticket that can be able to enable them go to road to ball can they make it past the elite 16 i don't know but we're just gonna have to wait and see how the playoffs pan out because the playoffs are a different ball game i know the regular season the games are spaced out one week and you're, you're able to see teams make the adjustments in training camp and move but if you come to the playoffs, it's a different ball game. But the Nairobi City Thunder, they have all the tools needed to be able to win. I don't think any team in KBF can be able to beat them. And this one looks like a sweep for them, in, even in the postseason. I don't think they, they concede any game. At the rate at which they are playing and the firepower on offense, you know, they have Alberto Derry in there, they have, they have Griffin, who is at the tail end of his career. But still... In KBF, he's still as productive. And you can see also they have James. They have James Mwangi, who's also good. They have Ken Washira in there. They've got their three-point marksman, Ariel Ortega. And they just have a very decent and good squad. And also, looking at what they're doing right now, this is just a snapshot of what they're going to do in the postseason. So, the Nervous City Thunder are the best team in Kenyan basketball. And it, there's no debate there because they have beat all the teams in the top four. They have beat the KPA Dockers convincingly. They were able to compete top heavy with the Equity Dumas. The Equity Dumas, they are, all, they are the only teams that can challenge them right now. And they beat the Ulinzi Warriors in, in convincing fashion easily. So, there was no contest there. So, I'm just waiting to see what they're going to produce. Um, in the postseason, I, I think there's no other team right now that can be able to take them apart. They made quick work of the Strathmore, the Strathmore Blades. So any other team that's gonna come, El Donets, uh, Kiyo Pirates, they're just gonna you know wipe them aside and as they wait for the postseason. So their biggest tests for the Ulinzi for the Ulinzi Warriors right now is to see if they can be able to even make it past the first or even second round. I don't think they can even make this. The, the, they can't even make the semis right now. They're just, uh, you know, exit their best. Even I mentioned in a in a post that their low uh, lower basketball IQ and their minimalistic approach on offense is the reason as to why they lose games, and they don't even have the quality uh, to be able to even compete with the NBC Thunder. So, yeah, the NBC Thunder they are the best. They are on the top. They are uh, no, they are on a on an island of their own as the best team in Kenyan basketball, and there is no debate to that. So. If you guys like the video, make sure to leave your feedback down in the comments what you think about this. And um, I'm out. Peace.